What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you on another Tell the Truth, Talk to Me Tuesday. That's what we do on Tuesdays. We tell the truth, and I'm going to talk to you. And this week, y'all know what we've been doing. This week and next week, we're going to be talking to you about these 10 steps to to massive, massive entrepreneurship and leadership success. That's 10 steps to massive leadership, entrepreneurship success. So we're going to be going through these principles. I told you we're giving you principles all year because we want you to be 1% better each and every day. Just 1%, y'all. Just 1% better today than you were yesterday. And by the end of the year, you'll be 365% better than what you were at the beginning of the year. That's the goal. That's the mission. That's the aim. That's the assignment that I'm on. So what we talked about yesterday, we talked about massive um, massive thinking. What's on your mind? What is it that you think? How we go about thinking and doing things, the process of doing things that we do as entrepreneurs, as leaders. So today, I want to talk about massive partnerships. And as I was doing my my walk today, I'm thinking about this, and I was thinking about massive partnerships, and I was thinking even before um, I started walking, um, I was thinking about partnerships. And I was thinking about the different industries that have had massive partnerships. In the technology industry, in the phone industry, T-Mobile and Sprint, Mer- uh, partnered together, or they actually merged. They came, or they merged together, um, but it was a, a partnership. In in uh, in the airline industry, De- I think it was Delta and American, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but they they merged together. But w- what you'll find is entrepreneurs. One of the biggest ways I'll give you three things, and I'm done, y'all. I'm real quick today. Um, but th- here's here's the the benefits of partnerships. It'll increase your network. It'll increase your um, increase your network. It'll increase your um, your your capacity uh, to grow, and then it'll increase your bottom line. Increase your network. It'll increase your network. It'll increase your capacity because you'll be able to serve a lot more people, and it'll increase your bottom line. As partnerships, when you think about Partnerships. When you think about those that you want to partner partner with, or even collaborate with, it should give you those three things. It should give you a wider network. It should give you. Uh, it, it should give you a greater capacity to be able to serve people. And then the three, it should increase your bottom line. I want you to take a look. <laughs> there's the homework, real quick. Told you. There's the homework, real quick. And when you look at partnerships, ask yourself those three questions. When it comes to the partnership, does it increase? Will it increase my network? Will it increase my capacity? And will it increase my bottom line? Three things that you want to do in order to be able to gain massive partnerships. I told you, this stuff. This stuff is is so. Uh, if we use it, we will we will find out that that we will be. Um, more successful than most people in our industry. Why? And I said this yesterday because most people don't, most companies don't take the time to do these things that we're doing. We're thinking massively, y'all. We're, we're, we're thinking about how we can, on a greater scale, impact people. That's why the impact builder. Because the, the, the more you think about these things, and the more you implement them, because it's more than just thinking about it. You have to actually implement them as well and use them. There's not one uh, small, well, not one Fortune 500 company that was not a small business. And a lot of them became Fortune 500 companies because they gave themselves the ability to scale. And one of the best ways to scale is to have partnerships, develop partnerships. Partnerships are resources. People are resources. Relationships are resources. So as you go and and think about and develop 
the relate the, the the relationship, the partnerships that you want to have. Look at them and see them, and they should be a resource for you. They should be a resource for your network. They should be a resource for growing your capacity. They should be a resource for growing your bottom line. That's how entrepreneurs think. That's how leaders think. Even as leaders, when you on a job that you that you're working on. How can you how can you have your team work better together, more together? How do they increase their capacity to do what it is that they do? What tools are you giving them? What developments are you giving them in order to be able to increase their capacity, increase their productivity? And as a result of those two, it will it will positively impact your bottom line. Massive partnerships, y'all. Massive partnerships is are, is just one way for you to achieve massive to achieve massive entrepreneurship and leadership success. But you gotta do the work. You gotta be willing to do your due diligence and 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 vet those who you partner with. Trust me. It it, it doesn't. Uh, it bodes well for you to investigate those who you want to partner with because you want to make sure that they're on the same page as you, that they have the same vision as you do. It doesn't have to be the exact same vision, but you should be you should be headed in the same direction and have the same purpose and want to achieve the same assignment. So you've got to take the time to have the conversations. You've got to take the time to to look at and and look at the information. About them, learn about them, look them up, check out their social media, see what they have on there, check out the company, see what the company stands for, what's the vision and the mission of the company. When we do these things, we will achieve massive. I told you this week is all about massive behavior. Massive behavior. Massive behavior is massive thinking. Massive partnerships. And the, and the other ones that we're going to go into this week and next week. But you can't do it if you aren't thinking it first. If you don't understand how partnerships tie into you growing. Especially when it comes to your network. You're building your business ecosystem should be a top priority for you. As an entrepreneur. That should be on, on your planning and, and your, your planning and all the things that you do. Part of your strategy should be how do I grow my business ecosystem? And the way that you do that is through partnerships. That partnership is going to widen your network. It's going to widen your capacity to be able to serve people. That should be why you're in business. So, three things, and I'm done. Here, here it is: massive business, massive entrepreneurship, leadership success begins with mass with the network, with your network. Begins with your uh, with your capacity, increasing your capacity, and then it 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 ends with your increasing your productivity, your your bottom line. Capacity is your productivity. You do these three things today. Take a look at your partnerships and look at those three things. And I promise you, you'll be successful. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. I told you I wasn't going to be long today. <laughs> Go out, get some get some vitamin D, get the exercise on, get that exercise in. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.